Hi there everyone and welcome to this Nordic Anglers uh, fly tying session. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a jiggy. A jiggy fly is, is a small baitfish pattern that has a lot of weight in the front so this fly really really bounces a lot in the water. It's a really really efficient pattern to, to imitate any baitfish uh, you'll, you'll ever find and, and you can of course variate this in, in a lot of different colors. Today I'm going to do it in pink which is more like a provocation fly but it would work really really well in any, any other color. So chartreuse, olive, blue, you name it. Uh, this is basically how to tie the jiggy and what colors you like it in. Uh, you basically just vary it uh, like that. Um, a highly, highly efficient pattern. Uh, and here is how exactly you're going to tie this. So, here goes the jiggy. Um, for this fly, I like this uh, this new Arix SH. You know, it's SA two hundred and fifty because I like the curve that this has. This is actually called a curved shrimp hook, but um, but it's really really cool for 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 this type of fly as well for the for the jiggy. So, I'm gonna mount this here in the vise. Oh, we need of course the cone head. Uh, we need a silver cone head first. You could you could pick one in, in a color if you, if you liked, but but I like the the silver one looks good for 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 the jiggy here. And I'm just gonna angle the hook slightly because that makes it so much easier to actually get the get the next thing done. Um, and what we need is we need to fill this cone head up with uh, with with wire. And if you're in a country where lead wire is, is allowed, then you can use that. And we, we're not allowed to use lead in Denmark. So basically, I try to fill this as much as I can with non-lead wire. Just basically add a ton of this here. Push it into the head, then add a bit more. And then I'm going to remove the, the wire here. And then I'm going to take my... Uh, some tool and basically just try to fill the, the cone head up as much as possible with this wire here. Like so. This always also helps stabilize the, the cone head so it doesn't, you know, dangle as much. And then I'm gonna take my... this this tying thread is, is a monofilament thread. Uh, because that's that's clear so it's, it's easy to use for, for flies like this. Um, and it also it, 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 it gives a nice because it's 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 clear it, it doesn't inf conflict with the with the with the the glue head we're gonna do of, of, of UV glue um, basically that's the start of this fly to give this fly the, the bouncing jigging effect and we need some bucktail some white bucktail first off and uh, as always with this with this type of fly it's important not to overdo it and to use too much material because that will basically make your fly not look like uh, like a real fish so i basically pull out some of the longest hairs here and also the shortest ones and then i I decide how long I want my fly. So about this is is the length that I want this fly here. And I basically just tie this here, and and I and I tie a bit on the uh, on the on the bucktail to give it a bit of of length here because I want um, I want to have some space to to make my head. Cutting away my bucktail, and you can, of course, depending on the size of the hook and stuff like that, you can you can decide how long you you actually want your uh, want your your wing. For me, this looks nice and perfect. I'm gonna make the uh, the pink one a bit longer than the white one. Now I will add a few strands of of ascent flesh, in pearl or in in opal. It's a good color for, for, for patterns like this. 
And as I, I don't know if I said that, but but we're gonna do this one in pink. But in this, this fly is really, really working well in many colors. In chartreuse, as a as a sand eel. In in orange, as very popular in orange as well. Uh, you can use it in blue to be more like you know a sardine or something like that. Uh, so so basically, uh, you can you can tie this fly up in in whatever colors you like. Um, it's just a, an overall good imitation of, of you know basically a bait fish, and because it has this weight in the f in the in the f front part of the fly, it's gonna it's gonna sink very efficiently and have a very very bouncy a very jiggy walk in the uh, <laughs> movement in the water. I'm gonna take a bundle of the the pink again. M remove the the short hairs. Remove the really long ones. Estimate if, if your bundle here is too big. I think this is about right. Tying down here. There we go. Cutting away all the the leftover bucktail. Uh, preferably without cutting off your tying thread, but if you can't avoid that, like I just did, then uh, well, if it can't be avoided, it can't be avoided. So now I have the uh, the foundation for the for the for the head here. And then I'm going to do my whip finish. And then the rest of the fly is basically just to to uh, to make the the composition of the head using the UV glue. There you have the profile, and now I'm gonna put it on this, add, add it on the side, and then add the glue. Just a small amount of glue here, basically to have something to let your eye onto. And I'm gonna use a three millimeter for this one. You could go with four, but three three is is nice, I think, for for this size. Basically, that is perfectly in place. And now I need to place the eye on the other side. So a small amount of UV glue again. Not much here. This is basically just to to get your eye in place. You have to look at the other side to see if they align. They almost do. There we go. And at the light. And now it's just a matter of of composing the head here. I have one piece of bucktail that is gonna be a bit tricky to negotiate, so I cut that off. Otherwise it's just to add some UV glue now. Of course make sure that the cone head is filled up. Just added a bit on top here, so we're gonna add something to the bottom. But I want this to be a bit more like this, so it's easier for me to, to distribute.
Now I added a lot more glue and basically that is because I can just rotate the vise and when I rotate the vise I will get uh, the head in the, in the shape that I want uh, because it will it will force the glue around. Gonna fold the bucktail back. Look at how it looks. There we go. And looks very good from the front as well. So I need a bit more bit more UV glue here to make the head more There we go. Basically this is just, you know, making sure everything is aligned, everything is, is looks as it should be. And done. So there you have it. The Jiggy Baitfish imitation. Uh, in pink with UV glue. On the Arix SA250. That is a nice looking fly, ready to rumble. Okay, um, as always, thank you a lot for watching. If uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Um, all the all the materials you saw in this video are available at my web shop. That's called Nordic Anglers. Uh, we have the highest quality and, and we have a, an insane amount of, of fly tying always in stock. So please, please swing by Nordic Anglers for, uh, for, for your next fly tying purchase. That would mean a lot to us. And um, yeah, well, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.